Dear students, welcome to our first training session of QuickBooks Enterprise 2024. This accounting software is widely used in all over the world. This is the most user-friendly accounting application I have ever seen during my 25 years of professional career. That's why I love QuickBooks. QuickBooks Enterprise is the most advanced version that Intuit has introduced in the market. The best thing of QuickBooks Enterprise is having an advanced inventory feature. If you will learn QuickBooks Enterprise, you can easily operate any other version of QuickBooks, either Pro or Premier or Accountant Edition. Even you will also cover a lot more training topics of QuickBooks Online during this course. So today, in our first session, we will learn how to create a new company file in QuickBooks Enterprise 2024. Let's start. Okay, students. So when you will open QuickBooks Enterprise after installation in your computer, so it will give you the uh, this these three options. The first one is I want to see a sample company file. Second, I am ready to create my own company file and the third I want to open an existing company file so we will start from here I am ready to create my own company file when I click on this uh, option it is giving me further two options who are you creating the company file for uh, either for myself or for someone else so I will choose this option for myself then start setup this uh, online sign in I will skip it for later so here there is a form it is asking me the company information so what is my business name so I will give it a name max trading corporation LLC okay so here uh, it is asking me what is the industry of this company so help me choose so here quickbooks has provided a lot of industries like financial services hair salon information technology okay legal services manufacturing so i will just choose from here general distribution uh, wholesale distribution and sales okay this option i will choose then business type either it is a sole proprietorship or partnership or single member company or multi-member company corporation non-profit others so i will choose this option single member llc then admins email so manager at max dot com then it is asking me the phone number zero six five three four zero four double one the business address office number three building two industrial area one five industrial one five okay then the city i will give here dubai and the country zip code i can give my postal code and the country is there are few options but uh, uae is not there so i will just choose other then click on create company it will just take one to two minutes to create a company file for me in quickbooks enterprise 2024 
once your company file is created it will open for you a window like this so here in the top you can see your company name is here max trading corporation llc so now quickly we will just go through the initial uh, some initial settings that we need to do when we are creating a company file in the file menu there is uh, some simple options like uh, if you want to uh, over create another new company or a new company from existing company file you can want to create or open or restore a company open second company then backup uh, your company okay data you can take the backup here uh, local back uh, backup option is there and also online backup then you can create a copy of your uh, this company file close the company switch to multi-user mode switch to multi-user mode uh, means if you have installed in your office uh, QuickBooks Enterprise on multiple systems and all the systems are connected to the network and you want to use the same company file on other systems also so you will just come here and switch to multi-user mode until uh, you are not uh, switched to multi-user mode the other users cannot access this company file okay so these are the initial options print forms printer these are the simple things no need to explain then the most important thing is the preferences company preferences if you click here so here for each uh, accounting section in this application uh, quickbooks has provided some preferences some things you can choose from your site like here in accounting i can use from here if i want to use jar uh, uh, use account numbers in my chart of account i can select this option okay then there is class tracking also it is enabled here i can uncheck this uh, box if i do not want it so what is class tracking this we will see in uh, future other uh, sessions we will discuss all this this is very important feature of uh, quickbooks uh, then uh, this accounting and after that i will tell you there is invent items and inventory okay now it is asking me that you have changed something in the accounting preferences do you want to save it tell him yes if you want to save make it yes okay then the second important thing in the uh, company preferences is items and inventory when you click on this tab it will open for you this window so here my preferences are there and company preferences also so if you see here inventory is not enabled if you are uh, just uh, uh, selling services to your clients so you do not need inventory features in uh, your company file but if you have goods and services both so you can uh, uh, you can make enable inventory features also in your company file so here are uh, other options are also there so like when the quantity i want to sell exceeds quantity on hand when uh, i can choose this option or do not allow negative quantities i can choose this one anything and advanced inventory settings if you go here you can see that you can enable multiple inventory locations okay uh, means uh, you have a lot uh, a lot of branches like two or three branches of your business and you want to track all the inventory here in the uh, in this company file so you can make multiple inventory sites enable from here okay if you do not want it just uncheck the box then serial and lot numbers if your inventory has specific serials uh, or lot numbers so you uh, and you want to record these lot numbers and serials just come here and enable this checkbox either you can select serial number option or the lot numbers so it will give you your inventory report with the serial numbers and lot numbers then fifo okay uh, here you have option uh, for inventory costing uh, if you check this box your inventory will use fifo that is first in first out method and here it is asking from which date you want this method to be implemented in your uh, company file so uh, if you are not enabling this then quickbooks will uh, make the costing calculate the costing of your uh, goods sold on the basis of average inventory method then the barcodes if you want to enable barcodes this also option available here you can do it from here site operations 
then landed cost so all these options in the advanced inventory feature you can use it okay now if uh, after that uh, the third thing uh, is sales tax now i'm whenever i am moving from one tab to another and i have made any changes it will ask me you made changes in the items and inventory preferences do you wish to save them make it yes quickbooks must close all of its windows to change these preferences okay now the third important thing in the quick uh, quickbooks enterprise company preferences is sales tax so when you come on this tab it will open for you uh, this form so here it is asking you do you charge sales tax if you make it yes so it will uh, enable all the sales tax feature in this company file then it is asking you add a sales tax item till now this is our new company file we do not have anyone okay so we will add so here uh, in the item list there is service inventory part this all these things we will discuss later so here just we will select sales tax item so what name I want to give it I want to give it the name wet then the in the description I can write wet at the rate of 5% okay in the text rate also I will provide the rate then the tax agency if I try to save it it will not save until I provide it a tax agent so here we do not have any because this is the new company file so I will create here so in UAE the tax agency is federal tax authority this is the authority to who we are liable to pay our tax okay so it is here now tax agency make it okay so taxable item code will be the tax if any item uh, not chargeable to tax it will be mentioned in the inventory reports that this is non taxable item so these are the option uh, identify taxable amounts as T for the taxable when printing when you are printing the invoice it will mention there that uh, uh, T means that uh, this item is taxable after that uh, there is another option as you can see in the preferences multiple currencies okay so if you are using multiple currency like your home currency is in UAE is uh, dirham and you are purchasing uh, you are receiving invoice in dollars so uh, or euro or pound any other currency you are receiving invoices so and you want to enter uh, you want to track uh, multiple currencies in your uh, accounting system in your company file so you can come to this uh, multiple currency window and just uh, select yes I am using this after that it will ask you select the home currency you use in your transactions so the home currency as uh, we are in UAE so I will select from here here uh, it is not giving dirham option so I will just go view more currency options and there I can find UAE dirham so make it active okay yes so this will be my home currency and now in any other currency I can buy and the conversion rate QuickBooks will uh, give an option to uh, give the current uh, conversion rate of that currency to UAE dirham uh, for each transaction there will be one option for you so you can define the rate and it will calculate for you the amount uh, uh, the, you will enter the invoice in the foreign currency but it will calculate in your reporting the amount within UAE dirham so like this you can activate multiple currencies also so there are a lot more options so one by one you can go there and it is very simple and very user-friendly 
like if I go to the payments okay save this option for multiple currency your company file will now close and reopen with your updated settings okay so when you come to the uh, payment options here you can see uh, a lot of options coming in the company preferences like uh, receiving when you are receiving payment it will automatically apply mm, to the invoices automatically calculate the payments okay use undeposited funds as a default deposit account this undeposited fund also this we will uh, see later we will discuss this thing and uh, then the payments do you want to send payment reminders so you can enable payment reminders to your, for your customers okay no or yes if you make it yes it will give you option if quickbooks desktop is open prompt me at 10 a.m daily or weekly or monthly whatever reminders you need it will give you uh, the reminder okay so there's uh, a lot of uh, options available here so the most important things we have already discussed regarding the accounting regarding items and inventory and uh, for multiple currencies for wet or sales tax okay so all these options we have discussed so students till here our first class is finished in this class we have learned how to create a new company file in quickbooks enterprise 2024 and how to define your company preferences for uh, recording of your accounting data in quickbooks in our next session we will discuss how to create a chart of account so stay connected and attend all the lectures what we are going to discuss